Only be honest, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be here without her. So, I'm just, you know, um, projecting the energy on y'all and y'all know, you know, like, I don't know, but. Yeah, it's like, um, it's pretty cool. I might read that, but honestly, I might read this. Hold up real quick. I'm gonna read this real quick, you know? Just to kind of refresh you uh, a little bit of some of these. So. Good wife, she's worth more than rubies. I underline that. That's crazy, but it is hard to find a good wife because she's worth more than rubies. Her husband trusts her completely. So let me just pause there for a second. You know, that's what I mean by. See, I really do want to break this um, Proverbs 31 10 31 down, especially like, you know, certain parts of it. Not even old and totality necessarily, but just. It's what I keep repeating, you know, I trust with my whole heart, I trust her completely. I mean, I told my brother, I trust, I mean, I don't trust one, but I trust one completely. I mean, like, with everything in her so it is hard to find a good wife because she is worth far more I'll say than rubies <laughs> her husband trusts her completely with her he has everything he needs <clears throat> you can even just pause right there you know with her he has everything he needs you know sexual you know just that just that mental Stability, you know, it's not really just you know, like support. You know what I mean, like a nigga needs someone who's, who's there for him too. You know, like even for a dude, it's not just about sex. You know, so and you know, you already know that. So it's like we're like you know, like um, dude needs nigga, um, a, a bitch. <laughs> a bitch you there for? A bitch you there for? I mean, so it's like we're like, mm. <laughs> mm. Once again, this Bible study, you know, um, with her, it it is hard to find a good wife because she is worth far more than rubies. Her husband trusts her completely. With her, he has everything he needs. She does him good and not harm <clears throat> for as long as she lives. Like I always say. You know, with God, we have eternal life, so she does some good and not harm for as long as she lives. And, you know, like I always do, so I really do understand it. We have eternal life, so, yeah. Like that, she gets up while it's still dark. Mm -hmm. I like that, but that's for the most part. What I want to read is actually, yeah. So Proverbs thirty-one ten through twelve. That's what I really, I really, really like, you know. So and like, um, let me see the other one, like, you know. Her children speak well of her. Her husband also praises her, saying, There are many fine women. And this is 28. And I see what it's too, but her husband also praises her, saying, There are many fine women. The 
you are better than them all. Ooh, I love that shit. I love that shit. I love that shit. I love that shit. Let's see this one, but charm can fool you and beauty can trick you. But a woman who respects the Lord should be praised. Give her the reward she has earned. She should be praised in public for what she has done. I'm just telling you. I'm just saying. Do we need to do we need to re-prescribe the medication to this is prescription right here, nigga? I'm telling you, my nigga, like yo, check it, check it. I'm gonna go back to it, dog. I'm gonna go back to it. You know, we we learn where the shit in the Bible is and everything right now, dog. You know how we do. <clears throat> I go right back to it, dog. You need to hear that shit again. I, I replayed the other part. Of it. I'm gonna put, replay this one. Let's let's hear it again. Twenty-eight thirty-one. After <laughs> her children. Oh wow, wow. She watches over her family and never wastes her time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. She speaks wise words and teaches others to be kind. She watches over her family. So this is 26 to 31. Let's just get it. Let's just do it right now, big. Let's just do it. I mean, let's just do it. She watches over her family and never wastes time. She never wastes time, my nigga. She never wastes time. I'm telling you, she never wastes time. That's what I'm trying to tell you. She never wastes time. I'm trying to tell you it's right here in the word. It's right here in the word, the biblical word. I'm trying to tell you. Get on it. <laughs> I'm playing, but I'm just kidding. But at the same time, I'm like, see this with your own eyes. And then you'll be like, that's what's up. When you have a scripture that points out to you in your real life world, that's like the scripture that's like, you know, it stands out to you. You know, like some people have different missions on this earth, on this world, on this planet, you know? Um, sometimes certain stuff sticks out to you as an individual. I'm working on living this out for the same time. It's like, yo, like, let me go back to this one real quick. It is hard to find a good wife. Because she is worth far more than rubies. Her husband trusts her completely. Woo! Completely! With her, he has everything he needs. She does him good and not harm. For as long as she lives. And let's get to this. Let's get to this. She speaks wise words and teaches others to be kind. She watches over her family and never wastes time. Her children speak well of her. Her husband also praises her, saying, there are many fine women. And trust me, there is many fine women. But baby, baby, you are the fucking finest. But you are better than all of them. Charm can fool you and beauty can trick you. But a woman who respects the Lord should be praised. Give her the reward she's earned. She should be praised in public. <laughs> For what she has done. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We clap it up. We clap it up. Let's clap it up. Let's clap it up. Let's clap it up just a little bit. 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 I mean, also, all I'm saying, just a little bit. Let's clap it up just a little bit. Ah, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's what you need. <laughs> it's what you need. It's shit. The, the girl girl will give you what you need. I'm telling you. Oh, she's all my shit. I mean, this is for the public. I'm praising her in the public. I mean, shit. Like, yo, I'm trying to tell you, though. Get you a girl girl, nigga. Take care of her. Nigga. Take care of her, my nigga. Take care of her, dog. I'm telling you. You won't want for nothing. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm eating your sugar. Do you need me to read the passage again? Like, you know what I mean, again? Again? Like, yeah, I, I keep repeating it, but again? Like, yo. Catch on, man. Catch on. Catch on. 
Either one, catch on. Just catch on. I'm gonna name my son that man. Catch on. Catch on Walker. You catch on Walker. Man. Catch on. You need to catch on. I ain't gonna know what I'm saying. I be thinking about thinking about kid name. I be thinking about name and shit. You mean so? You gotta excuse me with that, but it means that we're really right now. Ooh, show. Mm. Mm-mm.